everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Stuck on the Freaking Moon. We're stuck on the moon still. All right, don't be mad, Mom. I'll be home for dinner after I escape the moon. How do I know I'm on the moon? Because there's planet block Earth thingy. All right, you're not here, Mom. You don't know if it's a lie. But anyway, I hope you guys are excited and ready for the next episode because we're going to start our own up. And of course, it's the Christmas box it's the christmas box and i also apologize for no video yesterday as i was uh was at my family's for christmas and something happened with yesterday's video that i'm not necessarily sure what happened also um it appears that my diamond pickaxe has disappeared so i don't know where that's at who cares we don't need it we'll just make an iron one and of course we're in our base that we created uh i don't remember if this place has a name but we are in our base and i have moved all of our supplies over but if you enjoyed the video and the series don't forget to slap that like button like it's a cute booty all right let's do this shall we okay i just put a hole in the whole base and yeah so what i want to do is i want to get rid of all the excess blocks like this uh so that we have more room in here the only problem is i'm not sure if that's going to cause us any problem with our oxygen producing machines uh if we clear out too much of the space it might tell us that um it might tell us that that the uh that we we don't have enough oxygen being produced for the room but yolo we need space for our, our space program hey i wonder if we could actually make enough oxygen to turn the moon into earth wouldn't that be a cool thing we we terraform the moon into into earth it would be sick that's what we should focus on we should terraform the moon into earth we should get enough oxygen producing trees to turn the moon into earth that would be amazing that should be our goal that should be what we do in the series we save the moon and turn it well we can go to mars too so maybe we go to mars instead i don't know i don't know but it sounds like a freaking awesome plan hey at least this moon turf's really easy to break right because look at this i can break this moon turf fairly easy it's like a joke uh and that's good because then we can have more room i don't know how much room we want in here though let me check are we still good on oxygen all right we're still good on oxygen but like i said i don't know how much oxygen we we're gonna like how much of this space we're actually going to use i have determined we will be going back to earth this episode to get more supplies resupply and all of that um i'm probably going to get us some extra oxygen sealers definitely going to get some oxygen pipes and uh if we're lucky i'm going to get us some uh some heavy aluminum wire as well for our adventures here on the moon remember it's our only supply route is on the moon okay so now that we're here we're all set we're good to go we might as well go on and do exactly what i said head back to the moon i got a little bit of extra fuel i'm gonna take uh well actually we don't need any more of those we're gonna go back to earth and uh we'll go from there so going out the airlock we're headed back to earth um the ship is already up over there uh i'm gonna make a landing area over here because we need a landing area all right we gotta have it uh it looks good i like that that base looks a lot better than that it does it really does it looks beautiful Woo! all right here we go let's see are we full up on energy we are let me check fuel okay i'm awfully glad that we check that because we don't have any fuel okay we need to start loading we're gonna need a battery i need to go charge up a battery real quick sorry about that we don't have any fuel on the rocket glad we didn't take out or we would have been dead and that would have made me sad because we'd be dead right now and i don't want to be dead yet Okay, so here goes nothing. I'm going to attempt to charge up this battery. Uh, don't know how long it's going to take. I don't think I have a fully charged battery, but we'll check it out anyway, shall we? Let's see. We might Actually, I think we had two. There we go. We do have a fully charged battery. We'll go stick that in the old fuel loader, and uh, we'll, we'll send this puppy in outer space. All right, start loading. Here we go. Uh, we should be good to go. I mean, it should be loading, I believe. Let's see. This is... Okay, it's got to be loading. Let's check fuel uh, consumption. Fuel is at 56%. We will soon be blasting into orbit, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here goes nothing. We will be launching in three, two, one. Blast off. This is Astronaut Lance. We do have ignition. Let's switch over to, uh, to, to the other view, shall we? Here we go. First person view it is... I can feel something! We're gonna make it! Here we go! Oh no! I can't take the G Force! No! Oh my! Andy, why are you on here? Cause I wanted to go home! Are we 
we there yet? No, we're not there yet! Yo, for real, we there yet? This is getting crazy. All right, I, we seem to have made it out of the gravitational pull of the moon. We're headed to the overworld now. Oh, crap. Uh, you didn't see nothing. All right, so we made it back, and uh, we ended up pooping ourselves. And we did poop ourselves. I got two freaking feces that I can't get rid of because they follow me. I got freaking feces. What am I gonna do with a feces? I don't, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw it at this poisonous spot. Okay, there you go. <coughs> Okay, I just got blew up. What in the freak is going on? I just got blew up by a freaking creeper at my base. Okay, cool. Now my oil well is uh, not working. I need to go inside and we need to try to fix some of this stuff up, all right? I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna see if I got some spare freaking hose pipe stuff. And we're gonna see if we can fix this, all right? Please, okay. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to get, uh, we're gonna need a wrench, which I should, okay, I don't have a crescent wrench. So we're gonna have to make a crescent wrench because I think we left ours on the moon and then it got blew up okay so i got our crescent wrench we're good now we just need the uh the 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 liquid ducts no they're not called liquid ducts anymore they're called fluid ducts that's right okay that'll fix the floor now we need to make our what do you call it so we need to make our other thingies we need to make our other thingies uh what is it called i forget uh, we need to refine this why is it oh it, it is it's just going really slow never mind okay now we need to fix our other we need to fix our other thing oh yeah we need to get all the stuff that we want to bring to the moon we also need to bring some more supplies up there i'm trying to think what we want to bring uh what all do we need to bring for i didn't think this thing out very much and i'm kind of sad that i didn't because then we would know what we need oh great the mining elves are yeah cool everybody thinks it's funny because it's christmas okay first thing i'm gonna bring some i'm gonna bring some regular stone i like the regular stone it's good for us oh by the way we still have to go get our spaceship which should have landed over there a while ago uh that should still be where we are all right i'm gonna bring back some some gold some tin uh some aluminum i'm gonna bring back a lot of these resources that we just don't have on the moon with us Okay, the other thing I want to do is I want to bring some bone mill for uh, more trees because I want to make some more trees. We're going to bring bone mill. I want to bring saplings. All right, so I'm going to bring, uh, we'll bring rubber tree saplings and we'll bring some pink cherry sapling. It doesn't matter. Yeah, actually, it might matter. I'm not going to bring those. All right, we'll bring the saplings. What else do we need to bring? Uh, I want to get uh, some kind of energy source up there. Something that will be good for us, okay? Okay. An energy source that we can make on that we can do the pink sapling things. No, I don't want to do that. What else could we bring? We need to bring other things to the moon. Uh, coal generators. We could bring some of those. Uh, we should. I'm glad I have some spares. Uh, regular generators. That's what we can make. Let's see. Gen. All right. I'm gonna bring some regular generators. Uh, I could bring solar generators, but they're not really that great. But I'll bring them anyway. We'll bring the two solar generators I have. This is, says it's a tile block. I think these are just ones that I didn't happen to pick up. Oh, that's all it was. These are ones that got force wrenched it looks like all right i'm just gonna break these uh they should stay generators i could take these with us now that we've got the generators what we can do is we can go and we can build like macerators on the moon so wait do we want a macerator i'm not sure a macerator is what we're gonna want we're gonna want something well let's see what we got down here we've got of course we've got our induction furnace our macerator our extractor compressor oh we need dirt i'm glad i thought about that we're gonna need some dirt that's good Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I went, we've done this before, but it didn't work last time. Okay, I'm gonna throw all of our stuff in here. We're gonna use a force wrench to, of course, uh, bring bring all of our stuff with us. Insufficient fuel, that's great. Let's hope we don't break it this time like we did last time. So there's our box full of stuff. I think we have just about everything that we wanna bring with us for this, this trip. Uh, we should have plenty of food up there. We have four trees. Yeah, I think we got everything we're gonna need. Okay, now that we have everything, let me... We're gonna go back over here. We'll get our spaceship and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there, shall we? Yep, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go get our spaceship. 
Yep, we're gonna go get our spaceship and then we're going to uh we're gonna take off okay so uh, like always we need to place this thing back down here all right then we put our spaceship there we're gonna need to get a fuel and a battery all right we have fuel all we're gonna need is a battery i think i've got a battery in the base somewhere plug old battery up and we launch this baby to the moon okay let's see battery nope okay um okay there we go the battery was in the solar power thingy throw that in there she's now loading up on fuel and we will prepare to take off shall we here we go guys once she's full up we will launch into space go back and we'll have a whole bunch of stuff we can use to make our base better booyah okie dokie here we go guys launching into space now boom nope don't need a parachute because we're gonna use the space lander the landing thing to land us on the moon and win life Okay, here we go. We're launching into space. I hope I got everything because I wasn't really paying attention. If I got everything, I was more excited about all the other things that I was coming up with when I got there. Booyah! Here we go to the moon again. All right, here we go. We're landing on the moon. Now, remember, we have to use our, our reduced speed entry thingy my bob so we don't blow up as always we're at a safe landing speed now and should be approaching our descent vector as we speak all systems look good how's it looking on your end eddie looks good steady on course all right there we go eddie says steady on course we're at about 200 feet i can see the landing uh, look i can see all of our predecessor landing vehicles as well all right this is lancy Pooh. i have made my uh my drop onto the planet's surface um it looks like two landing pads are on top of each other not sure how that happened but okay uh gonna attempt to to find the other one okay there we go we've got that stuff it is nighttime on the moon uh so we will have to leave our spacesuit on i'm gonna just go chill for a while space on the moon takes a little while and uh, i'll see you guys whenever uh daylight gets back so hopefully that won't take too long all right everybody so daylight is upon us and uh, we are ready to get things done it was only after re-arriving on the moon that i realized i didn't get any oxygen sealers the only thing i was able to remember was to bring heavy aluminum and oxygen pipes that i don't need because i really well i don't need them because we don't have any we don't have anything else to hook up to them so that's just great but we did manage to bring some dirt uh some stone We've got two solar generators to run uh, nothing, and uh, yeah, we got some generators to run nothing. So we managed to get a bunch of stuff to the moon. We just didn't manage to get anything to, to make. Well, actually, we got some trees, so that's good, but we need more oxygen collectors. Uh, also, we can make the floor look nice. Okay, so I sealed off the floor and, uh, well, no, I didn't. All right, so I lied. I didn't seal off the floor. Just forget about me. I'm crazy and I don't know what I'm talking about. And yeah, so, all right. I sealed off the floor again, mind you. And uh, there, we've got kind of a floor down, except then I realized that I didn't have a um, uh, a pickaxe to, to yeah. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have any of the machines needed to, to set up anything else. What I do have is some, where, where's it at? We do have some dirt. All right, we do have dirt. We do have some saplings and we do have some bone meal to try to terraform the moon. So we'll take that up there with some cobblestone and I'm going to start operation. Okay, great. I just locked myself in my own base. Cool. So my door don't work. That kind of sucks just gonna say it now it may have been good if we would have it may have been good if we would have brought just some yeah i don't know i'm at a loss of words i'm screwing up like a like a screw up let's see i'm gonna try to fix this door that's not working let's see so there we go okay cool it's not working hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is over this direction, we're going to set down a bunch of trees, all right? I'm going to make this a tree farm. We're going to make this place look as if it could hold life by... How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to do it by uh, by planting a bunch of trees and bringing life back to the moon. There we go. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, so that's enough. Now all we're going to do is I'm going to run through here. We're going to plant some trees. We will then come through with a shear and get some of these trees to be our friend. AK, use them to, uh, to get rubber leaves and then use the rubber leaves to produce oxygen for us in the in the future uh we're there we go boom look at that we now have a bit of a bigger tree farm we will harvest the leaves from said tree farm and then use it 
We'll use it to produce oxygen so that the moon can be inhabited by babies of another race. There we go. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I won't keep you, um... <coughs> The last couple episodes, we've been trying to get all of our supplies to the moon. Hopefully, we're almost there, and we can start producing things on the moon that will help us to continue uh, expanding and making Legion uh, a center of peace and harmony on the moon. If not, we're screwed, and I'm not talking to nobody, because my lawyer told me not to.